But what I'm going to show you in this video is that in the space of 10 words, she lied not once, but twice. Hello, this is the fourth episode in a series of videos I'm making concerning Eileen Strong and her YouTube channel. If you've missed any of the first three episodes, they're still available, they will be available, and I'll put links at the end of this video so you can go back and find them more easily. Now the subject of this particular video is going to be quite defined and limited in its scope but it's going to demonstrate something pretty important. Now Eileen Strong regularly likes to call other people liars. She slandered me a number of times and repeatedly called me a liar. 
Eileen will never be able to demonstrate that I'm a liar because I don't lie. However, I can easily demonstrate that Eileen Strong is a liar. And that's one of the contentions I'm going to make during this series of videos because Eileen Strong has repeatedly slandered and defamed me in different ways. And as a way of responding to that, I'm going to defend my reputation as well as discrediting Eileen Strong as a way of defending my reputation and to expose the truth about Eileen Strong and her channel. So in this particular video, I'm going to demonstrate how Eileen Strong lies. And therefore, because I'll be able to prove that she lies, it means that the outside person can consider that whenever Eileen Strong says things about me, or about other people, or about things, you can't rely on what she says because she's a liar. And the thing with a liar is, once they start lying, lying to you, you don't know whether to believe them at all, ever. So, in this video, I'm gonna, it's going to focus purely on one, just one case example of when Eileen blatantly lied. I could choose many more, but for this particular video, I'm just going to focus on one particular instance. Now, as I covered in my last video, how Eileen Strong likes to delete so many of her live stream broadcasts and videos on her YouTube channel. What Eileen did in early November, and continued to do during November last year, she deleted her entire back catalogue archive of her live streams. The entire back catalogue. From when she started in August, so for the months of August, September, October, and during early November, she deleted the whole lot in one foul swoop. She left only merely two or three videos that were short pre-recorded statements that she'd made. She left those, but she deleted all the live streams. And as I contended in my last video, it was in order to manipulate her image. Now in this video, I'm going to pick one of those videos, those short, short pre-recorded videos that Eileen Strong did, that she left up in early November. And this video that I'm going to focus on, of Eileen Strong's, happens to be the only video you'll find on her channel that's publicly viewable for the entirety of sept August, September, October, and November, except for the very end of November. So for in excess of three months of Eileen Strong's video output, you'll find only one video currently there. And I'm just going to focus on that one particular video. And the reason that I'll focus on that particular one for the purpose of this video will become clearer as we go along. What I'm going to show in this video is that in the space of 10 words that Eileen Strong spoke on one of her video broadcasts to the world on her YouTube channel, in the space of those 10 words she lied not once but twice. That's what I'm going to demonstrate to you in this video. That's right, in the space of 10 words, she lied twice. Now, the video I'm dealing with is a pre-recorded video of about 11 to 12 minutes of length that Eileen Strong made and published on the morning of the 3rd of November 2019. The 3rd of November 2019. And I want to focus on this particular piece of what she said. This is a verbatim extract of what she said at one point in her video. Now I'm going to come back to the details of what she said here and um, dissect it and explain why it's a lie. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to ask you, the, the viewer, and this won't take any, it's take less than a minute. If you go down to the pinned comment of this video, I put a direct link to that video to the exact timestamp I want you to listen to. So please can I ask you the viewer, pause the video now, go down, listen to the, click there, click on the 
URL that I've, the direct link that I put in, and it's the first one in the pinned comment under this video. Click on that, it will take you straight to Arlene Strong's channel, to this particular video, to the exact time that I want you to listen to. And you just need to listen for about 30 seconds. And then once you've listened to that, come back and continue to play this video, please. So I'll see you shortly. Okay, so hopefully now you've listened to the link that I that I put, and you've gone to that link and you listened to what Eileen Strong said. And as you can see, this is a verbatim text of what she actually said during part of what, what you've just listened to. If you if you do want to listen to the entirety of her video, her video is still there. You can listen to it at your leisure if you want to. As at the time this I'm making, I'm publishing this video. Her video is still there. If and I checked before I published it that the video was still there. If the video becomes unavailable because it's either been deleted or set to private, you know that's because Eileen Strong has done that subsequent to me releasing this video. And you can infer from that whatever you want. But I think you should infer that the reason she's done it is to try and hide the evidence. So, either way, Eileen can't really win here. If she leaves the video up, she's shown that she's a liar, because as I'm going to demonstrate. If she, if she deletes it, She's just proved what I showed him in my. I proved she proves what I argued in my last video, where she likes to remove and delete content in order to hide the evidence of what she actually does. So she can't win either way. So it'll be interesting to see how she responds. So I hopefully you've you've seen that that excerpt of, t of what she said, and I'm just going to go to analyse the exact piece of text that I'm interested in. So. This piece of text here that you quoted on the screen now is a verbatim text, it's not edited in any way. You can check that for yourself. And in Arlene Strong, as you will have heard, she's referring to live stream broadcasts that are done on the YouTube channel of Nikki New Jones. Okay, that's, the con that's what she's referring to in this piece of text. If you don't believe me, you can go back and listen to the, the whole video at your leisure. It's very clear. What she's referring to is the live broadcast of Nikki New Jones's channel. So, let's look at this text. Eileen says, I'm not going to watch yours or listen to yours, referring to uh, uh, Nikki News live stream broadcast. And then she continues as a subclause, which I didn't do last night, I went to sleep. So let's look at that again. I'm not going to watch yours or listen to yours, which I didn't do last night. I went to sleep. I'm interested in the subclause on the second line. This is what I'm going to focus on. So then those ten words, in those just those ten words, in that pre-recorded, in a short pre-recorded and a very measured statement that Eileen Strong made, she managed to lie twice just within the space of those ten words. And that's what I'm going to dissect and demonstrate in the rest of this video. So, let's look at that second sentence. Which I didn't do last night, I went to sleep. So, she's stating that she didn't watch or listen to the live stream broadcast that Nikki New did on the evening of the night before, 2nd of November. That video is still available on Nikki News channel. I will also put a link of that in the pinned comments. Um, Nikki New went live on that particular night about 8.20 in the evening and the video lasted about three hours. So Eileen Strong has asserted that she didn't either watch or listen to Nikki New's broadcast of that previous evening of the 2nd of November. And she then goes on to explain the reason why she didn't watch or listen is because she went to sleep. So there's two important elements to that to that subclause on the second line. One is that she's stating that she didn't listen or listen or watch Nikki News live last night. The second important aspect is that she said she went to sleep. And the context in when she says she went to sleep is to demonstrate the reason why she didn't listen to it or watch it is because she had gone to sleep. Therefore she was incapable of doing anything because she was asleep. And I'm going to show, as I say, both of those things are lies. So, 
But the reason why we know this, the, this, the, these are both lies, I'll, I'll take the one, one at a time. So, let's look at the first part. She said that she didn't watch or listen to Nikki News Live that previous night. Bear in mind, she's making this broadcast video in the morning, the night, the day after. Now, on this particular evening, GS Paranormal Simon was doing a live stream broadcast. He went live some, sometime after 8 o'clock. Now, here is a screenshot of part of the live chat of GS Simon's live chat box. And you can see here, I added in the timestamps before taking the screenshot. That's what the little grey numbers are. They're not the time, they're the number of minutes into the live stream. And you can see here, you can see some comments by Eileen Strong. Her name's in blue, because she's a moderator. And she's saying hello. So she's on the live chat in the evening, around sometime between 8 o'clock and 9 o'clock probably. And there she is saying she's there. Now, let's go to the next slide. On this next slide, we go ahead a few minutes forwards. And you can see the timestamp, and you can see circled here. And Eileen Strong makes another comment. And I'll, what I'll do is I'll, I'll there is this one here with the arrow next to it, and I'll enlarge it. So, at nearly 15 minutes into Simon's live stream, Eileen Strong writes into the live chat box, "Watching Nikki New." In other words, she's telling people that she's watching Nikki New's live stream. She actually states it. And if you want. You can go and see that live chat that's still there, the record that's still there on Simon's video, because I'll, again, I'll put a link to it as one of the links in the pinned comment under this video. So if you want to go back and see it, you can see it for yourself. As of the time of publishing this video, I checked before doing so, and that comment of Eileen's was still there. If it's no longer there, it's because Eileen's removed it, but it is there. There's the screenshot, and these screenshots were taken on the 3rd of November that I'm showing you. They were taken the day after. So she actually says she was watching Nikki New. So, bear in mind what she said before. She said that she hadn't been watching or listening to Nikki News live stream the night before. But there she is, typing in, in, in Simon's... I've chat stating that she is indeed watching Nikki News live stream. I'll show further evidence of why I, we know that she was watching Nikki News live stream that evening. I'll come on to that. The next aspect that Eileen asserted is that she went to sleep. And the reason she stated that she went to sleep is because she wasn't able to do anything because she was asleep. In other words, she was saying, I couldn't watch it last night. I couldn't have done so because I went to sleep. Okay? She also said she didn't listen to it. She, not, she wasn't in her bed awake listening to it. Not enough. No, 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 no. She said she wasn't watching it or listening to it. But on Simon's thing, she actually wrote she was watching Nikki News. And I'm going to come on to give you further evidence of why should we know that she was actually watching it that evening. But let's move on to this aspect, that she was asleep. So, Nikki News live stream, as I said, went live at approximately 8.20pm that evening, and went on for approximately three hours in length. Now, Eileen wasn't asleep in the evening then, because in fact, she made multiple videos during that evening, which she published and broadcast. Yes, that's right. And I'm going to come on to show you this now. So, I'm going to show you a screenshot here. This screenshot um, 
for those not familiar, I use a, um, a computer-based desktop, com desktop computer. So this may not appear in the same format for those that use mobile phones, I don't know. So just to make that clear. But what this is showing is a screenshot of the personal bell notifications that I receive on my YouTube feed saying any new videos or comments that I've received or any new videos that have been put or live streams that have gone live that I've put like a bell notification on. So anyone who uses those notifications on YouTube will be should be familiar with this kind of format. And as I say, I use a desktop computer, so it may look a bit different to if you use a if you use a mobile phone for example or a tablet or something. Now I want you to focus first of all where the red arrow here at the bottom. So the chronological order here is that the newest is at the top and the oldest is at the bottom. And this was just one particular lump of notifications, unedited screenshot. Now you'll see on these that each of them says one day ago, one day ago, one day ago, one day ago. That's because the screenshot was taken the following day. I took the screenshot on the 3rd of November. Now the red arrow, arrow that is pointing to, to the bottom is a live stream that Eileen Strong did in the early evening of that 2nd of November. So it was in very early evening. Uh, um, Nikki New hadn't yet gone live. Not, G.S. Simon hadn't yet gone live. No issue there. Just to make that clear. As you can see, I took this screenshot the next day. And because you can see by the greyed out box of the image, that demonstrates that the video had been deleted by Eileen Strong. Because Eileen deleted that video during the course of that evening on the 2nd. Then, if you go to... The, well, I've shown you the next arrow. This is a short little pre-recorded video that Nikki New Jones did, also in the early evening of the 2nd November. The video is still there on Nikki New's channel. If you want to go and see it, you, you can. But it was filmed sometime around the early evening, ahead of when she was going to do a live stream, which she refers to in her video. And then if you go to look at the next arrow, that is the notification of Nikki News live stream having gone live during that evening. And on that particular night, as I say, she went live at approximately 8.20 in the, in, the, in the evening. But then, above that, you'll see another notification. Again, it's been greyed out, and it's a, a notification that Eileen Strong has gone, on, gone live with a live broadcast. So, that proves she went on to do a live stream after... Nikki knew herself had gone live. So, only Strong claimed that she was sleeping that evening during the course of Nikki News Live. Well, we know that's not the case because, one, we know that she was watching Nikki News own live, and then she went live herself. And as I'm going to show you now, Eileen didn't just do one video during that mid to late evening on the 2nd of November, she actually made three videos. That's right, she did three videos. So what I'm going to show you now is some extracts from the live chat, live chat box of the live stream of Nikki New Jones, the live stream she did on the 2nd of November, on the evening. As I said, she went live on that particular day about 8.20pm, and the live stream lasted about three hours. The live stream still exists, if you want to go and see it, I'll put a link to that live stream and I'll put a link to it in the pinned comments underneath this video. I'm going to show you a series of excerpts of screenshots taken from her live chat. And these screenshots were taken by me within 24 hours of the live stream occurring. Now, if you go and look at the live, stream, live chat now, you may see that some of the people's comments are no longer there, including my own, because we've been blocked. They've been removed. But these were correct at the time I took them. These are just raw screenshots. And if you look at this first slide... If you look at the arrowed comment, you'll see that I'm commenting at 53, 58 seconds into Nikki News live stream. So bear in mind, she went live at about 8.20, and 50 odd minutes into that live stream, I state, Eileen is live, by the way. So I'm telling the people that Eileen has gone live. 
and that relates to that notification that I showed you. That's the video that she'd gone live at. So that comment that I put there, you can see by the time, by the timestamp, the, the comment was made at 53 minutes, 58 seconds into her live stream, Nikki News live stream. As I said earlier, Nikki knew, like, Nikki knew had gone live that particular night at about 8.20. So therefore, that comment that I put there stating that Eileen is live, by the way, I made just on 9 o'clock, about 9.10, roughly. And you'll see further below, I make a comment saying, Eileen calls us a not very pleasant term, if you look slightly lower down. Now that video... Eileen deleted that very evening. She deleted it very quickly, as is not uncommon for Eileen Strong. Now, that first live stream that, that Eileen did in the middle of that evening, around 9 o'clock onwards, it wasn't very long. Eileen had some form of technical or internet problem. And, uh, and because of that, the li that live stream ended, and, she start and then she did a short pre-recorded video, and then published it immediately it didn't it was about I don't know 10 to 20 minutes long this the second video that second video actually remained up for a number of weeks that pre-recorded video it actually maintained there for a number of weeks so Arlene had asserted that she'd been asleep the previous night yet she'd managed but yeah at the same time there was a pre-recorded video that she'd made during the evening that was still viewable at the time that she, she published a video stating that she had been asleep. And that video remained there for several weeks. After she made that, she managed to get back onto the internet and was able to go with the live, go live broadcasting again. So she'd gone now making a third video that has started out since nine o'clock. And if you look at the red arrow on this particular set of, of extracts of screenshots, you'll see that I tell Nikki News chat room at about one hour, 40 minutes into her live stream, which would be about 10 o'clock in the evening. So at about 10 o'clock in the evening, I posted to Nikki News chat room, Eileen on live yet again, I'm told. And I would have corroborated that as well. And then you can see it, some other comments that I've made, and I'm relaying things that Eileen's actually stating during the live stream that is going on. I'm actually relaying things because I was actually listening and watching both Eileen Strong's live stream and Nikki Lou's live stream at the same time. So I was actually relaying some comments, and you can see them from the timestamps. So at about two hours in, which would have been about 20 past 10, I'm still commenting on things that Eileen says because she's doing a live stream. So, so much for Eileen being asleep, as she claims. And then I go on to explain. We're now gone on forward a bit in time here. Here's some more excerpts of the live chat from Nikki News live stream and I state about 2 hours 20 minutes into that live stream which would be about um, about roughly around approaching 11 o'clock in the evening on that Sunday the 2nd so it was about 2 hours 20 in she started Nikki News started at 8.20 so it would be about 10.40 roughly around 10.40 10.45 in the evening I state no are you aware that Eileen has made three videos tonight? She deleted the first. So I state that she'd already deleted the first one. She deleted it very quickly. And I state then, seconds later, I say, this was after your live started new. So this is three videos subsequent to the video that Eileen did in the, the live stream she did in the early evening. So she actually made four videos during the course of the evening. But I'm just talking about the ones that she did subsequent to Nikki New going live at, at roughly 8.20. Because... Eileen had claimed that she was asleep, and therefore that's why she wasn't able to watch Nikki News live, because she was asleep. 
Well, we know she wasn't asleep because she made three videos and she was still up at 11 approaching 11 o'clock. And then again, I again I referred to some nasty word that Eileen had called us in her first live stream after she'd gone live after Nikki knew had gone live and she said a nasty word and I said that she deleted it. And then I referred to there being a video, the live stream that Eileen had done in the, in the early evening, and I wasn't sure that time whether it was still there. And then I explicitly say, since then she'd done, Eileen had made three more videos since the early evening. That's me explicitly stating it there. So, as I showed you on the previous slide, just to go back to it, this red arrow relates to the first live stream that Eileen did after Nikki knew Jones had gone live. So it was subsequent to 8.20. So subsequent to 8.20, Eileen Strong had made three videos, one short live stream, a short pre-recorded video that she published at the time, which was then left up for several weeks, and then she did another live stream straight afterwards once she managed to sort out her technical or internet problems. That video was also deleted extremely quickly. She deleted all the live streams she'd done that evening very quickly. Now, relating to the second video that Eileen did that evening after New had gone live, here's some more proof that that video had been made. On the 13th of November, I made a short video, written video statement on my YouTube channel about the way that Eileen Strong was continuing to slander me and was continuing to call me a liar. Here's the the front of that video. If you can, if you want to see it, you can still see it. It's on my channel, and um, I'll put a link to it again in the list of links in the pinned comment under this video, and I'll superimpose the URL here too. And here's one of the slides. It's one of the screenshots from the video that I did on the 13th of November. I actually refer to the pre-recorded video that Eileen Strong did on the night, on the evening, mid to late evening that Eileen Strong did on the 2nd of November. I actually refer to it. And I actually request explicitly that she either deletes it or, or takes it down to permanently or edits it in some way because of the way that she slandered me in it. That video remained up for a few weeks and I give her a deadline of when to take it down. She did in the end um, satisfy that request and she did delete that video. Why would I request the video to be deleted unless it existed is what I would put to you. That video up was up quite a while. I have recordings of all the videos that Arlene Strong made on that evening, the 2nd of November. So, let's go back to this quote that I showed you earlier on. The critical quote where Eileen Strong asserts that she didn't watch Nikki News Live that night and she didn't do so because she went to sleep. And she says that in order to indicate that she wasn't able to watch it because she was asleep. So she's also implying, therefore, that she didn't do anything else either that evening. Now, I've demonstrated she did three videos during the course of the evening, after Nikki New went live, and that's on top of the one that she'd done herself, that Eileen had done herself in the early evening. I've shown that when Gia Simon went live, Eileen was awake, and I've shown earlier on where she actually states in Simon Gia Simon's live chat, she states that she is watching Nikki News live. Now the evidence, the other evidence that we know that she was watching Nikki News Live that night is because while she was doing those videos that she had subsequently made, two live streams intercepted by a pre-recorded video, during the course of some of that, she was actually talking about what was going on in Nikki News live stream at the time. Which again demonstrates 
that she was not asleep, and it demonstrates she was actually wash, watching or listening to Nikki News live stream because she was actually commenting on it as it was going on live at the time. And I have the recordings of those videos, even though Eileen deleted them. She deleted all her live streams that evening very quickly. But the one video that remained for a few weeks was the short pre-recorded one that she did. The one that I asked to be taken down. And in that video, she does refer to stuff that's being stated during Nikki News Live that evening. As it's going on, it's contemporaneous. So, I've demonstrated that in ten words that Eileen published in a pre-recorded, very measured and short, fairly short pre-recorded video statement that the Eileen made on the 3rd of November in the morning she managed in the space of 10 words to lie not once but twice she was watching Nikki News live stream or listening to it and she was not asleep in the evening she was up well past 8 o'clock well past 9 o'clock she was not asleep during the course of Nikki News live stream she was awake making three videos two live broadcasts and one pre-recorded video all after 8.20 in the evening Nikki News Live went on for about three hours so it didn't end to about 11.20 roughly and Eileen was broadcasting for quite some time during the course of that evening now what's quite ironic is that if you go and look at that video of Ali Strong's that I've linked, in the description box, there are three words there currently at the time of this, my, this video going live. And Eileen writes, the three words she writes is, I'm no liar. How ironic. How ironic is it also, of course, that Eileen Strong, during the course of those one or more of those videos she made in the evening, the night before, had accused me of being a barefaced liar, which she can't prove because I didn't lie. Yet, she lied herself. And Eileen Strong often lies. And yes, I can prove that, and I can make more videos showing that she's a liar and that she lies. Now, I predict that Eileen Strong will respond to this video by saying that she wasn't lying but that she just couldn't remember. I predict that's what she'll say. She'll say, I couldn't remember, and the reason I couldn't remember was related to her disability. I predict that's what she'll say. Now, my response to preempt that is as follows. Eileen made this short, very measured statement in the morning of the day after. Is it plausible to believe that Eileen couldn't remember that she had been awake for several hours until quite late on the evening of the night before? And that not only was she awake, but she was actually live streaming on YouTube and talking to the world and making another video which she broadcast during the evening as well. Is that really plausible? Now... We don't know exactly how her disability affects Eileen. So, let's go with this. If you believe maybe she just couldn't remember, and that she didn't lie, then this means the following. Eileen Strong has a really poor memory of what she's done a few hours prior in her waking life. Therefore, when Eileen Strong talks about things and denies things and recollects things that happened not so long ago in the short term, it means that you can't believe what she says because her memory is that bad that you can't believe anything she says anymore because her memory is so bad. So if she's trying to recall something that's happened, she's saying, oh, that didn't happen or that's not true, you can't believe what she says. If, on the other hand, you believe she did deliberately tell something, say something that was untrue, 
In other words, she lied. Again, that shows you can't believe what she says because she's a liar. So you can't trust whatever she says. Either way, it demonstrates that much of what Eileen Strong says, you can't rely on as being true because she either lies or her memory is that bad is that she can't even recall what she was doing not that long ago. So when she re recollects things and she says things with certainty about, oh, that didn't happen or I didn't say that or no one said that, you can't believe it anymore because her memory is that bad. If that's the if that's the defence she wants to use, or it shows that she's a liar, and she actually lied twice within ten words. The other thing is, I can demonstrate lots of other instances where she lied. So if you don't want to accept that this time she was lying, don't worry, I can show you lots of other instances where she was lying as well, with evidence. Take your pick. Bear in mind, of course, she made a point in that subclause of say thing. She made a point of stressing that she didn't watch Nicky News live. She didn't. It was, it was superfluous, really, to her whole statement of that video. But she made a point of saying it. She was trying to demonstrate and claim that she wasn't watching it. So I would argue it was manufactured. She was trying to make a point that she didn't watch it. And she was trying to stress the point that she didn't watch it. And, of course, she also said, as I said earlier, she said in the description box, she stated, quote, I'm no liar. I think someone was trying to protest too much there, Eileen. So, that's the end of this particular video. I hope you, hope you found that enlightening. And there's lots more videos to come. Don't worry. So I'll see you then. Bye for now.